The Native Americans who lived in this part of what is now eastern Shasta County were the Atsugewi, a branch of the Achumawi. When Europeans began arriving in larger numbers in the early to mid 1800s, this spot became important to them as well, as several separate and overlapping trails came through and met here. In 1855, a route was found that enabled immigrants and their wagons to make their way down from Hat Creek Rim. Now while we can't see the spot where they actually traversed, it was up on this ridge you see in the distance and uh, off to the left. The Nobles Immigrant Trail was subsequently rerouted through Hat Creek Station for those traveling from and to Nevada. The eastern branch of the California Oregon Trail as well as the Lockhart Road also passed through here but in a more south to north direction connecting the Sacramento Valley to Wairika by way of Pitt River. Shortly thereafter the California Oregon Stage Company ran a stage line from Red Bluff to Wairika through here. As one might expect, Hack Creek Station draws its name from the waterway of the same name that begins near Lassen Peak and flows northward to eventually empty into the Pitt River at Lake Britain. The name Hack Creek came from an episode where Drury Harrell one of the men surveying a route through the area in 1852 lost his hat in the swollen currents while fording the creek. In its beginning, Hat Creek Station played several roles. It was one of the many stopping places on the long journey to California and a new life where immigrants could refresh their animals, buy supplies, and rest if they wanted. It also served as a station where the stage company kept horses and supplies and travelers stopped for lodging and food. When clashes and hostilities arose between white travelers and settlers and the Native Americans who lived in the area, a detachment of soldiers was sent to intervene. Thus it temporarily became a military station the third such post in Chess County after Fort Redding and Fort Crook. The stopping place, the stage station and the military post all once stood very near the current day buildings you see here. A sign and plaque placed to commemorate the history of this site are located on the far side of the first red building here. Today the name has changed. Sometime after the military departed, people stopped calling it Hat Creek Station. They began calling it The Old Station and over time that name morphed into just Old Station. In the subsequent years families and ranchers have lived here. The site has also seen a hotel, stable, sawmill, general merchandise store, blacksmith shop, and town hall. there's a gas station, restaurant, and store amid the buildings that line highway that follows the same general route as those trails from 170 years ago. While it hasn't grown much in size since then, its impact still extends far and wide. People come here from all over to sample what the area has to offer. 
For example, some come to experience the first class fly fishing in Hat Creek, the same waterway the Atsugewi came to for the food it provided long before Europeans arrived. Others follow the section of the Pacific Trail that winds its way over and down Hat Creek Rim, the same place that first stymied immigrants from coming this way on their journey west. It seems in at least some ways the more things change the more they stay the same. Thank you for watching and listening to the history of this site. If you come to visit in person Please also take a moment to learn about this tiny building which once served as the post office.